If that becomes too much, you can take your foot off, go into a regular lunge. We got 10 seconds. Guess what? Other side!
halfway. Power that heel up. We have 20 seconds left. Let's pull. So, you are lifting and lowering that heel without ever setting it all the way down. Last 10. Chest if you want one. Three, two, let's go. Take your weight down. Stand up. Now we go back to the top one more time. 
Back to the bridges. In three, two, let's go. Get the floor. Three, two, let's 
So, so tipping it over. Squeeze it up. Squeeze your hips on your chair for the floor if you need it. Weight in one hand if you want it. Pull it up to that heel. So your goal, when you tip over, is to be one straight line without opening up. Twenty seconds. Keep enough hips rotated towards the floor. Trying to keep that foot up. Last eight. Short sides. Woo! We have five minutes left to work, y'all. So close. Let's go. Tip, squeeze. That weight is in your heel, and you're driving up through that heel. The back of your leg, where it becomes your butt, is where you should be feeling this. Seeing this kid, I've had an album, just like we hadn't seen each other in a month. When you said you made it to space. When you come around again and say, Halfway. Just you and a certain one to change. Remember how the next is going to change? Doesn't it mean it's going to like forever? Told me I love you. After Tabata, it feels like forever. Yeah. 
Last two minutes of work. Let's go. Stand up. All of your weight is on one side. And then set it down. You can keep that foot fully extended, or you can have that toe down. Really squeezing that glute on the side that you're using to stand up. Whew. Whole family's doing a good job. <laughs> Halfway off. Remember, you can have a weight if you want one. 20 seconds left on this side. Last 10. Three, two. Rest. One minute on the other side, and then we are done. All right, set up nice and tall. Core strong. Three, two, other side. Stand up. Set it down. Even when you sit down, making sure these not just relaxing, you're keeping that core tight. Squeeze up. Digging your weight down into that heel. Halfway. We are so close, y'all. Woo! Fifteen seconds. Come on, kid, you can give me two or three more. And rest. Woo! We did it. Take some deep breaths. Have a seat in that chair. Cross one ankle over a knee and then lean forward. Leaning in a little bit farther, stretching that hip out. And let's push that. Leaning in just a little bit farther. To really stretch that hip out, open up those hips. Open up the hips, stretch it really quickly. All right, I want you to take one foot out in front of you, with the heel down, toe up, and then lean down, pressing your hands behind your calf. And come on up, switch sides, other heel out, toe up, and then two behind, taking your hands behind your calf. All right, I want you to come up, spread those legs wide open, take your hands down on the floor in front of you, and then stand up from your chair. Your upper body is down. And now, walk those feet feet together, and then push yourself back and switch out to I'm sorry, down dog, not down toes. And walk the knees back and forth. Stretch out those hands. Bend your hands back with your feet. Ooh. Holding on to your chair if you need to. If you want to feel back, knees together. And switch sides. And 
guys. Keep it nice and in. Hold up. Squeeze your nose. Exhale down. One more deep breath. And we made it. Whew. That was two hard classes back to back, y'all. Thank you for joining me.